Hello everybody, how you feeling today and welcome to creatingwebsite.org. Today we want to show you how to change the logo here in the Vantage theme. We're going to be updating our site so this is a behind the scenes tutorial but I thought I would just show you how we go about it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do some editing. I'm going to change this logo here to make it say it's as simple as one, two, three. So the first thing we want to do is go to our photo editing program. Here is our file that we want to upload. So we're going to do a little editing. So I'm going to go ahead and type. And forgive me, it's behind the scenes, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, let me see what kind of font we want. Maybe we could do impact. Okay, so we're going to choose our font, and then we're going to type. We're going to make the font a little smaller. It's as simple as one, two, three. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and stretch this out. Not too much. We want to keep the text looking good. Let's see, it's as simple as one, two, three. Let's go here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to take out the one, two, and the three. And we're going to give it all capitals. It's as simple as I'm going to leave it like that. Then we're going to duplicate the layer, move it over, and we're going to put this layer by itself. We'll put the one like that. Okay, make it a little bigger, and we'll put the one big so that way we can stretch it out. So we're going to go one, and then we're going to copy this one, duplicate that layer, move this one over. And we'll put a two. <laughs> Excuse me. And then we'll duplicate that layer. And then we're going to put a three. Okay. All right. It's coming along. So it's as simple as one, two, three. So now what we want to do is maybe put, uh, we're going to duplicate this layer and put little dashes in there. Okay. So go here. And then we'll put like that. Okay, layer duplicate. And then we'll grab this one here and put it there like that. Okay, and then you can do your uh, guides in the back. Make sure everything's lined up. Okay, looks decent. Now you could go in and change colors and fonts, which I think we'll do. Let's make this orange. Uh, let's see if we can find an orange. Mm, let's see, maybe this one. Yeah, we'll put it like that. And then we'll put that one is orange. Like that. That one is orange. And. This one is orange. Oops, forgot to select it. We'll go ahead and make that orange. Okay, let me see. I think we should do the dots also. I'm not a graphic designer, but I think it looks better having everything orange. <laughs> there. Make that orange. And then what I'm thinking is maybe we could do a little effect. Something like that to make it stand out a little bit. So what I'm doing is I click on the layer that I want the effect on, and then I just go and double click the effect over there. And it gives it like a little background. Okay, I'm gonna slide this layer down a little bit by hitting my down arrow. Okay. It's as simple as one, two, three. I think we should put a little border also. So what I'm going to do now is going to go to effects over here, click stroke, and then maybe put it like a two. There we go. That's I like that. And then we'll do the same thing here. Select the layer, double click effects, go to stroke, and 
and hit two. The two, the number is the width of your stroke. Okay. So let's go here. Effects. Oops. Double click the effects. Now let me show you with the stroke. See if I make it like a five. Let me show you how thick it is. See how thick the black is? But if I break it two, it gets thinner. Okay, so that's what that is doing. Okay, let's go ahead and select that layer, stroke, and then we'll put the two. Okay, and then we'll save it. So I think that looks cool. Looks like the three is a little high, so the down arrow selecting it, down arrow. And I think it's decent. Okay, it's as simple as one, two, three. Let's go ahead and save it. Now, we want to go here to file, save as. So now we're going to upload it to our site. Now, once again, we want to put this logo here. That's what's there now, but we're going to replace it. Okay, I'm going to hit, I'm going to save it as a PNG or a JPEG. Let's do JPEG. Oh, no, no, let's do PNG. Okay, you can do either one, but I'm going to do PNG because I want my background to be invisible. So we're going to hit save. And it's going to be logo two. We're going to go ahead and replace the one that's there. Now, we're going to go to our dashboard and that's your web name forward slash wp dash admin and then you log into your dashboard once you're logged into your vantage theme dashboard we're going to go to appearance and then we're going to go to theme settings okay so it's going to take a little time to load up now i recommend the vantage theme here at creatingwebsite.org this theme is really good uh, you can get a free version or you get a paid version but the good thing about the paid version is this a small donation whatever amount you choose okay all right so we're, see where it says logo logo image we're gonna click that okay and we're gonna upload the image we just designed so you go to upload files select files and we're gonna go to the folder where we have our image so let me go ahead and navigate to that folder Okay, logo 2, I believe, is what we saved it as. Logo PNG2. So we're uploading the file now. Okay, so the process we just took you through uploads the file to your media library. Once it's uploaded, you're going to come down here and click Set Logo. Okay, and then you hit Save Settings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once your settings are done being saved, you should be able to go to your website now or wherever you're making the changes let me let it finish I can see it's still turning there but once it's done uploading you should be able to go to your website refresh it and your new banner should be there so let's go ahead and see and this is a behind the scenes tutorial you're actually seeing us get to update our creating website.org okay I like it Oh, we forgot to put the the black strokes there on our dashes I don't like it by itself like that so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go back real quick. And we're going to select those. And we're going to put effects. Double click effects. So it gives you an effect in the back. Okay, double, double click. Now we're going to go back to our layers panel. And we're going to select that and hit the effects over here. And hit stroke. And we're going to hit two. Okay, there we go. Then we hit here. Select effects, hit stroke, and then hit two. Okay, so I think that's going to be better. It's going to look better. And I'm going to make it a little wider. I noticed that if you notice here, uh, let's see, if you notice here, it looks, doesn't stretch out as much as I want it. So I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And we're going to grab the end here and just stretch it out a little bit like that. Not too much. It's as simple as one, two, three. All right, then we're going to hit save. Then we're going to save for web. This is going to allow us to put it in the format to upload it to our website. So we're going to go leave PNG and we're going to hit save and save again. And we want to replace the one that's there. So now we want to go back to our dashboard, hit appearance, which we're already there, uh, choose image. Now we got to upload a file again because it's not in our, oops, there we go, appearance. We want to go to theme settings. Sorry about that. Okay. Once you go to theme settings, uh, it's going to give you an option to upload your file, which we just designed. So you want to make sure you select logo, 
choose image okay and you want to upload your file to your media library so let's go ahead and go to upload file you want to select the file wherever you save that out on your hard drive and where I believe it's logo 2 PNG so we're going to double click it it's going to upload the file once it's done it's going to give you a chance to select set logo so we'll wait till it's done uploading as you can see here it's still uploading okay now it's done so we hit set logo and save changes okay now once this is done we should be able to refresh our web page here and we should be able to see the changes that we just made okay let's see still turning so that means it's still uploading but once again thanks for joining us this is behind the scenes at creatingwebsite.org and you get to see us update our website all right so it looks like it's done loading let's go ahead and refresh our website and we should see the changes here let's see what happens oh there you go i like it all right there you have it that's how you change your logo on the vantage theme thanks for tuning in to creatingwebsite.org talk to you later bye bye Oh, before I let you go, don't forget to subscribe to our videos. Okay, spread the word. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.